All right, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rahwadash, with the Spirit to do this lesson. Double honors to the elders and apostles that great millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, Shalom, to the men of the Lord, prophesying, preaching, and teaching on the Hawaii and Bowies in sincerity and in truth, Shalom, Barakatam. Uh, all you Akim, uh, we're almost out of here, man. You know, uh, brothers was talking about it this week. Um, the signs, you know, we had a we had a, a celestial event, I'll call it, back in December, with the, with with Jupiter and Saturn basically coming close together, and you had the eclipse, you had sightings of chariots and UFOs, basically ramping up over the past two years, and now, you see this, they're uh they're worried, man. Now you see why Donald Trump created that space force. You know, just like that. And it was up. It didn't take years. It, it was basically just created seemingly overnight. All right. And not only that, there's a TV show uh, on Netflix that came out last year called Space Force. You know, so how fast can they make up a show called Space Force? And it's starring the guy from The Office, too, Steve Carell. So it ain't no low level show, man. It's, it's, it was, it's, a, it's a comedy about them launching the Space Force. But ultimately... You know Esau has known about this for a while, and this that's the evidence of it. And and, and if you if you are still doubting what time we're in, whether we're in the last days, uh, then you're you're gonna be left with your mouth open when these chariots start to actually do work. They're gonna do more than what you're gonna see in this video, which I'll play here in a second. They're they're uh they're here for for a particular purpose and for a reason. All right, and I'm I'm gonna just read real quick what that purpose and what that reason is. And Zechariah five, uh, it talks about the flying scroll. All right, now the thing here is uh, this is the main scripture we go to for uh, for uh, what what so called UFOs or chariots. But we know that they're all throughout the scriptures. They're also referred to as the eyes of the Lord. We know that they were there that there was one present that star over Bethlehem. But when when Yahweh was born, and we know that there was one in the wilderness when we were being uh when we were uh in Exodus when we were leaving Egypt. Alright, we know the prophet Elijah, he was taken up in one. And it would stand to reason that Enoch was the, it was the same thing. When you read the book of Jude, all right? But this is the main one because it describes it in detail. It says, uh, Zechariah 5 and 1, Then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a flying roll. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, and, and, I, and I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is 20 cubits, and the breadth thereof 10 cubits. So, Zechariah is seeing, you know, basically a chariot, an unidentified flying object. And you have to realize back in that day, there wasn't anything in the sky, you know. There wasn't weather balloons. There was no airplanes. There were no uh, uh, drones or satellites. None of that existed, you know. Only thing that would be, you would see in the air would be basically birds and clouds, all right. And that's why oftentimes you'll hear chariots being referred to as clouds because that that, that was those two are the only thing that you would you would see in the sky and they would basically look like a strange cloud you know it's how it's how it's described and he said unto me what seest thou and i answered seeing a flying roll the length there of 20 cubits the breadth there of 10 cubits then he said unto me and this is the main point of what the purpose of these chariots are and we know they're going to play a major role in, in World War Three. that the angels, the, what, that's the chariots that, they, that they're going to ride in. Um, but it says, then he said unto me, verse three, this is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. Now, they're all over the place. When you see UFO, so-called UFO sighting the chariot, they're all over, man. Australia, China, Brazil, America, Canada, South Africa. All right, the Israel, the Middle East, you know, the UK, Russia, 
they're, 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 they're all over. This isn't, this isn't relegated to one particular part of the globe because they are the eyes of the most high. All right. It says for everyone that stealeth shall be cut off as according on this side, according to it, to be cut off on this side, according to it, Salakia, and everyone that sweareth shall be cut off as on that side, according to it. All right. So they're here for judgment. Ultimately, they're 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 in scout mode right now. They're reporting and they're making Esau afraid and disrupting equipment. And, and this is how you know Esau's worried because that space force exists. He's pumping billions and billions of dollars into rocket science. All right, trying to figure out the heavens. He's adding satellites by the thousands. It seems like every other week. You know, Elon Musk is 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 making a uh, has a has a program to to launch forty thousand satellites. You know, to do this this what he's calling a, a Starlink network for internet. But we all know that satellites can serve multiple purposes, man. They can be militarized. They can be weaponized. They can be used to do uh, various things. All right. And uh, he, this man is scared. Now, let me play this video. Actually, let me read uh, verse 4 real quick. Zechariah 5 and 4, because that's important too. I will bring it forth, saith the Lord Jehovah of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief. And that's why they're over these military bases. And that this video, that that that's man, that's humbling, man. That was a swarm of these things, and they and they were in shapes that you couldn't mistake them for anything else, <laughs> but but a but a flying craft, you know. It couldn't be anything else. They were swarming, and they were doing things according to their own testimony that they couldn't explain. The speeds appearing, disappearing, the angles that they can take. You know, it, they, they're worried. And that the house of the thief is Esau Edom. All right. NATO, the EU, the whole beast system. These chariots are, 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 are there to, to mark you and make a sign and to be a sign for what's to come. It says, and then to the house of him that sweareth falsely by my name. And it shall remain in the midst of the house and it shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof. So that's what they're going to do, consume, all right? They might be scouting right now, but they, they, their purpose is, is, is much greater than that. And that's why this guy is scared, because Esau knows the scriptures, and he knows that these chariots, he's been seeing them at a much, much, much higher frequency, probably damn near every day, probably constantly even, that, that to the point to where he, he needs to respond. And now he's getting ready in June to uh to publicize all of their ufo findings from the pentagon they have that on the books to make it all public because he's getting ready to spin a narrative and this is going to set the stage for world war three we we all need to get together and worry about these things and fight these things they're the enemy now you know even ronald reagan had uh said it but let me play this uh video oh salakia Just a few days ago, the Pentagon confirmed that a 2019 video of a UFO sighting is actually real. It was a UFO. The video shows a pyramid-shaped object flying over a U.S. Navy destroyer. This is the very first time the public has seen video from this incident. The UFO footage was leaked to a filmmaker called Jeremy Corbell, who joins us tonight to explain all of this. Jeremy, thanks so much for coming on. Tell us where thanks this was shot. It. Um, what are we looking at here? Yeah, so I obtained and released uh, videos and photographic evidence of UFOs swarming our warships. So the green video is night vision. That's from the USS Russell. It wasn't just one pyramid-shaped craft. It was multiple. These were swarms. I also released with my mentor in journalism, George Knapp, also released from the USS Omaha, which looks like thermal imagery. Uh, he released three photos the day prior to mine. So we're, we're trying to get this out to continue uh, elevating the conversation because it's very important we have it right now. You think? I mean, those are not weather balloons. 
those are clearly no. autonomous aircraft of some kind that are, as you put it, swarming U.S. military craft. So These are there are two options. Under intelligent I, control. Can, These are craft put. under intelligent that, control, and they're flying with impunity, Tucker, within our airspace, right. and uh, they can outmaneuver, outperform um, anything that we seem to have. Their mode of transportation uh, is uh, seems magical to us. It's unbelievable, and now finally we're having a rational, sober discussion about this because we don't know what these are. We don't know the nature of the technology. We need to find out who's off. Well, they're, you know. They're the angels, man. All right. The scriptures say that the, the, the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom. And and we're we're it, it, it it's time now for you Jakes to wake up, man. But but see, the, the some of you were, were just blinded, man. You you weren't meant to to get it. A chariot could beam a brother up right next to you and, and, and you'll still go back into your folly. You know? operating them and also what the intent is so it's a really exciting time to be learning about ufos because uh now we're having a complete tipping point with the transparency and hopefully we'll be getting more answers soon this must have scared the crap out of the u.s military i mean their job is to defend the country and themselves and here these aircraft violate their airspace quickly do you believe that they sincerely don't know what these things oh, are they, they and where they don't. Came we from. have the best. We have the best military on planet Earth. The greatest intelligence agencies. These are true unknowns, and they were swarming our, um, you know, military arsenals. This, they're seen over nuclear facilities. This is documented. We need to find out who is operating yeah. these. You heard that? You see how worried they are? They're over nuclear facilities. So, so the Most High, yeah, how about shipping? How shot is in control, man? And he always has been. And these devils are worried. All right. Whew. These vehicles. Yeah, nicely put. Jeremy Corbell, I appreciate your coming on tonight. I hope we see you again. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. And that and that's basically it on that. Um, but you see what's going on. All right. Now this guy is worried because we're in those times. And that's what I wanted to get Romans 13 because, you know, Esau's gearing up. A lot of you Jakes are, are still asleep, man. Are you bullshitting? Are you thinking you got more time than what you really have? And, and it, the reality is, is you don't, man. You know, we could be out of here this year, man. You know, Lord willing. It says, and that. This is Romans 13 and 11. It says, and that knowing the time that that now is the is high time. It is high time to wake awake out of sleep for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. All right. And that's very, very true. Our salvation is nearer than what we believe. So brothers just got to stay patient. Things seem like they're far off, but the most high man in due time, he's going to make his move. It's already written, you know. We, we just, we got to just focus on enduring. And for you Jakes that are in La La Land, that, that are goofing around, you know, shooting rap videos, just just in complete uh, uh, folly and, 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 and wantonness, not giving a damn about anything, just a complete spirit of mirth, a heavy judgment is going to come upon you, man. All right? Because the, the Most High has given us all the signs we need to stay rooted in this thing. And all it takes is for one of them them chariots to to uh <laughs> to, to to shoot up to shoot a uh a, a navy destroyer, and, and all hell's gonna break loose across the whole planet because now they're gonna know these crafts aren't just you know for show. And that's gonna that's gonna start uh tensions to flare up, you know. But this is verse 12. It says, the night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. So in other words, stop bullshitting, man. Stop engaging in this world that doesn't care about you. This world only takes, man. There, there's no there's no fruitful way of living here. Everything in here is defiled and for you to, to 
to be in a spirit of actively supporting it, man. The most high is angry at you, all right? And you don't understand how fearful it is to, to, to have the most high wrath be directed at you. You know? Verse 13 says, let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness. And that's, that's Jake, man. Walking around throwing parties, bullshitting. You know, like, this, this shit's got to stop. It says, not in strife and envying. It says, but put ye on the Lord Jehovah Shah Mashiach and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. But Jake don't want to hear that, man. He's fully dove into it, especially you women. You know, you, you're like a pig just, you know, dancing around, rolling around in mud, man, just wallowing in it. And if you don't wake up and repent, the most high is going to destroy you. There's no other way to put it. You know? Jeremiah 4 backs this up. It says, uh, this is Jeremiah 4 and 13. It says, Behold, he shall come up as clouds, and his chariots shall be as a whirlwind. All right? His horses are swifter than eagles. And that describes the chariots, man. Swifter than eagles. You know? Got the appearance of a whirlwind. They can take all different kind of shapes, really. But that's what it's describing. It says, Woe unto us, for we are spoiled. O Jerusalem, wash thine heart from wickedness. So this is telling you, when you see these chariots, wash your heart from wickedness, man. Get right. Because the, we are, we're in these days where, where, where you, you know, the family of the word is going gonna, is gonna to come out and see the chariots are going to be a blessing to us in those days. They're going to be a cursing to you people, as we read in Zechariah 5. This is the curse that go forth across the whole earth. They're going to be a blessing and, 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 and a mechanism for deliverance for us. We're going to, well, it's going to be in particular tight situations and, and a chariot can show up and, and, and zap somebody, man, or, or, or drop off some food, you know, or, or whatever, we, whatever we may need, man. But brothers who are rooted and have and have faith. But you you don't want to wash your heart from wickedness. And that's that and that's what's gonna be your downfall. It says verse 14 again, O Jerusalem, wash thine heart from wickedness, that thou mayest be saved. Alright. So when that these chariots show up, man, this is the time where the most high is gonna save who he's gonna save. Okay? It says, how long shall thy vain thoughts lodge within thee? And, and I can't, you can't get any more plain than that, all right? Because all of your thoughts are vain. If you're thinking about OnlyFans and, 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 and partying or, or trying to save up, for, you know, in a 401k or, or, or these long-term investments and all of that bullshit, those are those are vain thoughts, and ultimately, it's you putting your faith in Egypt and into the place that the Most High ha has has promised to destroy and is dead set against. You know, um, so that's basically it on that. Uh, hopefully, y'all brothers were edified. Call halal Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rachakwadash Wa Ababobal Shalom.